And these are the small size. So I've got this wire that I bought. I've made a hanger. And these foam lotuses are about four inches in diameter. I didn't put the fronds on here. They've got a pin backing and they can be worn as a brooch or a hat decoration. And you could also peel the pin off the back and use them as a soft sculpture. And I've got this hanging cord, it's about six feet. Um, the design includes space for the fronds, but this could always be condensed and then the ribbon cut or put for something else. Could add extra shit in between the chakras. So the, the, the purple, and then this is the best I could get for indigo out of the new foam that I bought. Last time I did indigo, it was a combination of gray and dark blue. And then we have blue, and then green, so fresh. And the yellow, so I have this kind of school bussy macaroni and cheese color now. And instead of having to use regular orange. And then this orange has like a red orange that I got and it looks really orangey next to this. It wasn't quite red, even though it was trying to be in the new pack of foam that I got. And then the red one is just darker red and lighter red, although it looks kind of the same color on here. So chakra set, I haven't made a big one yet, but now that I've got some better colors, I can do that. I've got pink, so I can make some pink ones. Let me get this stack over here. Here on. Here on. Here on. So I've got an even bigger stack of fall now. So I've got pink to make pink ones. I don't, I guess that's kind of magenta. I got some enough brown in variations that I can make brown. I don't know why I needed a brown one, but I guess I do. Um, and then I've got white and gray and black, so I can do some grayscale flowers. And then the rainbow ones up here that I was using for these. And then I've got extra black and white. So I can make singles, and I'm going to... I don't have a darker teal to go with this sky blue color down here. But, um, you know, as I get more colors, it's going to help. So I've got four different colors of green, so I've got plenty for stems here, and that'll be good. So now that I've got enough black and white, I can finally do the yin-yang lotus the way that I wanted to. I just need to get some rods and uh, get, get on the silver paint, so that should be coming along at some point. So anyway, I do have another small set of chakra lotuses with fronds that can be cut off at will on the old Etsy there. So, more. And then just, here's the, a big size, a regular size 6 inch one for comparison. The little one, and the technically medium, and then a large one would be one in a structure or a set like this. That's it.